So I'm on uh, day six here at the hospital. And we're gonna start with the conclusion of this video first. And that is that there will be no election in 2020 as the United States will be under martial law and the Democrats will declare that because of martial law, we cannot hold the election until, uh, I guess, the chaos in the United States has been reined in under control. And that is my prediction, and that's the premise of uh, this video series. It'll probably be two videos. So uh, I guess the, uh, the first thing I want to get into the video about is uh, but uh, what the uh, Marxist, communist, uh, um, socialist Democrats are up to, uh, just to explain it to all my conservative friends, because uh, I don't have too many, but there's always conversations, mainly at the VFW, that I have, and, uh, and it's funny, because they go round and round and the same theme. <laughs> it's like, what are they thinking? What are they doing? What, why would they do that? You know, and those questions come up quite often. And so let's, let's just give you a few sample conversations. And, uh, and I just, you know, I'm going to try to be a little entertaining with it. I mean, it's kind of sad at the same time. But we'll start with, I guess, to me, the biggest issue is, uh, is the border. So, uh, so let's get into that one, you know. So, so hey, hey, Billy Bob. Did you hear what them damn Democrats are doing now? Those migrants are just pouring across the border. I, I, he said, you know, and they got the kids down there. They, they, he says they're building little homes for them or something. I don't know. They, said, they had them locked up in cages, I heard before. But uh, now, he says, now they're putting them on buses and shipping them all over the country. He said, who the hell would do that? Why would you do something like that? I don't even understand it. I don't understand it either, man. I'm telling you, it just don't make no damn sense. Why would you want a bunch of people coming in? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna tell you, Billy Bob. Some of them guys, those, those people coming across are criminals. I heard that, that gang group, uh, MS-13, they're coming across by the droves, you know? And uh, they, they, they're they bringing that, uh, what's that drug? What's it called? Uh, fentanyl. Fentanyl, man, that stuff. Cause you know, you remember, you remember Suzanne? And, and her brother's son died of that stuff. She, he died and he was up in uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, oh my God. He says, and I heard there's a lot of people dying from that. No, nah, man, you sure? Yeah, man, they're pretty good. And those MS-13 guys are, are rough. And you know, you, you know what they almost took over Salvador, El Salvador. No, nah, man, really, no gang can take over a government. No, nah, man, I'm telling you, those guys are violent. You don't even want to think about it. So, oh man, I'm, I'm telling you, these Democrats don't make no damn sense. Why would you want to open a border like that? Especially with criminals coming across. And uh, he says, and then, and guess who, guess what, man? We got to pay for it. We got to pay for it. We, damn U.S. taxpayers got to pay for all them illegal immigrants pouring across the border. Oh, man, I just don't make no damn sense. Don't make no damn sense. So then the, they move on to the, to the next topic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that one just goes round and round because, you know, when you look at it on the surface, it really doesn't make any sense, you know. So the, I guess the next one, you know, was, uh, well, let's just get into the Trump one, you know. Hey, man, guess what? All them damn lies is stupid. It's most of the Marxist damn Democrats have been telling about Trump. They're all coming out now, huh? Ah, huh? you've been watching the news? Well, yeah, I guess I have, you know, I mean. What, uh, what, what specific news are you talking about? Well, you remember that uh, May 6th thing? I think it was May 6th. That took place in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, when, uh, remember uh, when uh, Trump did that Bible thing and the media said that he tear gassed all them peaceful protesters after they tried, peaceful my ass, they tried to burn down the church. Tried to burn down the damn church, he said. But uh, turns out it was just the Capitol Police doing their own damn thing. He said Trump had, didn't even order it. Although he should have. He should have ordered it, but he didn't order it. They did out all that on the own. They said it was planned two days in advance. So that's the first thing that came out about one of them lies they were telling about Trump. You know, he says, uh, well, you know, what else are you talking about? Oh, how about that Fauci guy? Huh? What do you, I mean, he's been lying up and down. I, he says, I tell you what, I had a cousin who used to lie and uh, he was nothing compared to that Fauci guy. That guy, he, I bet he can't say two words without a lie coming out of his mouth. Well, 
What lies are you talking about, man? Well, you don't you, you do remember how he flip flopped all over the damn place about them stupid masks? And then uh, he was telling Trump, you know, uh, that uh, we had to shut down the whole country. And uh, it turns out that was a bad move because uh, down there in Florida and up there in that day, uh, well, I think, what's that place? Uh, Jesus, uh, South Dakota. South Dakota. You know, that's uh, that, that, that governor, um, uh, Christy Nome, man. Christy Nome. She, uh, she never locked down her state. And they did better than anybody in the whole country, including Florida. Although Florida did real well. I mean, you can't argue with that. But, man, when you look at these Democrat states, and, and see, that's another one I can't make sense of. Why on earth would these Democrat states want to just keep themselves locked down and uh, destroy all their small businesses and uh, put the, put everybody out of work and uh, everybody on the street? And then, hey, man, how about that defunding the police? What the hell is up with that? Now, who in their right mind would do something like that? You know, I thank God I live in Florida. I'm gonna tell you what, thank God I live in Florida. Because I at least we got police here to keep the peace. Holy moly, these Democrats, I don't understand them, I can't make sense of it. It just doesn't ring in your brain, ring in your brain, you know? Woo, boy, I tell you. And there were other lies they told about Trump that have come out. I I'll have to think on that, Billy Bob, but uh there was some some other doozies that uh that one I guess on Capitol Hill. You know, of course, we all know about January 6th when Trump said, let's march peacefully down to the White House. And they call, you know what they, they call that a damn insurrection. You know, we still don't know who the, the, the person was that shot that poor woman that worked that what wasn't she, what service branch was she in? She was Air Force. She was in the Air Force and served her country, and we still don't know who shot her. He says, I, I just, I, it don't make no damn sense, man. I'm telling you, this uh, this, uh, this this country's going to hell, man. It's just going to hell, you know. And uh, and uh, you know, what kind of insurrection do you have with nobody's got any guns? <laughs> what were them people thinking about? If they wanted to take over the government, they needed guns, man. They needed uh, the, the military behind them or somebody. You know, I don't think there was even a general there. Was there a general there or anybody? Uh, I don't even, you know, I haven't heard of any officers getting erected. Like, you know, I, none of them guys, are, you know, there were no colonels there or any big brass. I mean, you got to have something on your side to have an insurrection. And I heard a lot of them people just walking around the White House. Oh, my goodness. I tell you, these Democrats don't make no damn sense. They're more worried about that. Oh, and then another one. Holy moly. Billy Bob, I mean, did you hear what Biden said the other day? Oh, man. What are you talking about now? Jeez. Where do you want to go from here? I'm talking about when he said white supremacy is the number one threat to the United States of America. Now, do you, are you white supremacist, Billy Don? Have you ever even thought about that type of thing? Well, no, no, I ain't never uh, really given it much thought. I mean, you know, I'm, I, my neighbor's black, you know, I've never, never really, I don't think he thinks I'm a white supremacist, but uh, I would hope not anyway, I mean, but, I, it's never been an issue till now. I mean, I don't know. I don't know any white supremacists. Do you? But oh hell no, man! I ain't never met one in my life. You know? Anyway, I don't even think the KKK even exists anymore. Holy moly! These Democrats are—they're crazy, man. They're freaking crazy. They're, they're Marxists. They're communists, man. Oh man, what, what's happened to our country? What has happened to our country? Well, I don't know, man. I, what else could you want to talk about? I. It's just, uh, it's, it's just, it's just terrible. It's terrible what's going on. And, uh, hey, Billy Bob, you know, what, what branch of the service you served in? Well, I was, I was in the Navy, and uh, he says, you know what, my, co my, my cousin, his son, said they're getting diversity training in the military now on that, uh, what's that thing called, uh, critical race theory. No, man, they wouldn't do that in the military. You know, the military was the most non-racial organization on the planet. They're the ones who integrated uh, blacks and whites way back in the 50s. Well, I, I'm telling you, that's what they're teaching now. It's the craziest thing I ever heard of. I heard, I heard them in the Marine Corps that they stopped teaching uh, history uh, to the Marines, and they're teaching them that 
diversity thing. They have the whites take uh, two steps back. No, it's one step forward and the blacks go two steps back or some kind of crazy shit like that. I'm telling you, man, it's, and, and the brass is putting up with it. He said, in fact, they're the ones pushing it down on the military. Have you ever heard of such a thing? No, man, I, I haven't heard of anything like that in my life. He's, I tell you, these damn Democrats, these Marxists, Communists, Socialist Democrats, they've gone, they've gone batshit crazy, man. I'm, I don't even know who would teach such a stupid thing. And, uh, and of course, they've been teaching it in our schools. And uh, how in the hell they got away with that, I don't even know. Now, if you're a parent, it, it, now, tell me, Billy Bob, if you're a parent, and you don't know that your kid's being taught Marxist ideology in school, what kind of parent are you? You know? I'm glad that my kids have grown up and they've, they've grown up and they're, they're out in the working world and you know they, they got educated right. I'm gonna tell you what. But uh, these kids today, man, can you imagine how messed up their heads are? Holy moly, they got all that Marxist ideology in their heads and, and all the schools are teaching this, this uh, that the white people are bad and, the, and uh, blacks and uh, minorities are good. He says, I, who the hell? He said, how did all this happen? I don't even know how it happened, man. I'm telling you, this is, uh, it's gone crazy. Democrats are crazy, man. And, uh, man, let's just, uh, we got to talk about some other stuff. Hey, Billy Bob. Guess what? I, you know, you, remember we were talking the other day about how that, uh, that whole, uh, that, where that virus came from. And, uh, remember Trump said it came from that, uh, but what's that place in China? It's called, uh, starts with a W man a W Wuhan Wuhan yeah but Wuhan City uh, that's that's where it was and they had some sort of uh, biological lab there and uh, and Trump said that uh, it probably came from that lab and then it, and the Democrats said that no way no way don't have that Fauci lying son of a gun I'm gonna tell you what that guy he, he can't say two words without lying he just can't say two words without lying and he said oh no it had came from a bat somebody ate a damn bat over there in China which I guess they, you know, that's possible man I don't know them Chinese is crazy they might eat bats you know hell they probably eat bugs too you know maybe they'll eat like a cicada you know, or something like that, and just pick it up off the ground, just bite its head off. Be like Ozzy Osbourne, man, just spit that head out and, you know, have a good time. So, uh, who knows what's going on there. And, uh, but, uh, you know, but they, you know, they lied all about that. Turns out that virus did come from the lab. And the Chinese manufactured it. And, and guess what, man, that, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing, man, that Fauci guy, that lying son of a gun, he, he, he paid for it. Oh man, that ain't possible. That's just not possible. U.S. wouldn't pay China to develop a virus. Oh man, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's true. It's coming out. Oh man, that, that's just, no, no, we can't. Who, well, why didn't somebody stop him? That's a good damn question, man. It happened under Obama. That somehow, now Obama, I heard Obama said, that he, you know, we're, we're not gonna do gain of function or something, I think that's what it's called, gain of function research or something like that. But uh, no, man. Fauci, uh, what, what he was doing, I'm gonna tell you what, you know, if, how he got away with it was he was funneling that, that money over to some place called uh, Eco Ecosystems or something like that. And uh, and so they were, and then they were in turn paying uh, that Chinese lab to develop this, uh, this the COVID-19 virus. Are you kidding me, man? That So, so the United States paid for the virus to, to be developed in China and then what, what, and so, and then you're saying it escaped the lab there and, and then they shipped it back to the United States and infected everybody. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the story, I think. Oh, that, that's just too hard to believe. Well, I mean, I know, I know, but, and you know what, but the media, you don't listen to that CNN or, or uh, what is that other, MSDNC is what they call it on Fox News, and, or that Hannity guy, that's what he calls it, and, uh, or, or, or what is it, NBC or ABC or CBS, you know, they, they're lying, they're lying, they've been lying the whole damn time. They won't tell you that it came from a lab, just like they won't tell you that Trump didn't have anything to do with all those people being cleared off of the, the uh, Capitol lawn on May 6th. You know, I tell you what, man, these Democrats are crazy. They're crazy, man, and, and, uh, and everybody doesn't see it. 
because they watch all that stupid mainstream news, which I guess, uh, you know, I'm telling you what, they must just be like a, a propaganda arm of the Democrat Party. That's the only thing I can think of because they ain't said a damn good thing about Trump, you know, in all the years that he was in there. Oh man, and did you hear what else Biden did? This man, did you hear about the pipelines? What pipelines? Not at the time. What was it called? Uh, the key, Keystone Pipeline, man. I, it, it, it was uh, coming out of Canada or something, and uh, Trump was uh, was paying for it, and we were going to have uh, cheap gas for for a long time. And uh, Biden, on his first day in office, he shut that thing down. How do you know that? Because I ain't seen anything about it on the news. Well, you must be walking, watching the wrong damn news, man. What the hell are you watching? Well, I don't know. I watch a little bit of CNN every now and then and uh, whatever. Well, that's your problem, man. You're watching the wrong damn thing. Get up on Fox or that, uh, what's that new one, Newsmax. And uh, I, there's a couple of other ones that OANN or, or uh, whatever, you know, or NT, NTD. I kind of found, uh, I guess I was going around YouTube and I, I saw that one. I'd never heard of that before. But uh, anyway, he took down that pipeline and the reason that I know it, is because my cousin's wife's husband was working on the pipeline as a pipe fitter. He was making $150,000 a year. Can you imagine that? $150,000. And now he ain't making diddly. And uh, he doesn't know what him and his family are going to do. Really? Well, I, you know, because he can't find a job. He's looking around. He said, but, you know, who wants a pipe fitter? You know, he said, so, uh, and, and not only that, you know, they, they have a house there. And all the stores are shutting down because nobody can buy anything in the stores. So it ain't just the people working on the pipeline. It's all the communities that were around that pipeline. And everybody up there suffering. And, uh, oh man, get this, get this man. Biden went out and told the Russians, because, you know, Trump had to, it, Russians were building a pipeline into uh, Germany. And, uh, and so Biden, he went out and told him, he said, he said yeah, you, you can go ahead and build your damn pipeline. And he shut down our pipeline. He says, what are these Democrats up to? This stuff don't make no damn sense. Why are, you, why are Americans voting in this type of shit? I don't get it, man. I don't get it at all. I don't either, you know. What in the hell are they up to? Man, I'm, I don't know what to say, you know. And boy, when you go way back and you look at that stupid Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, and you couldn't tune in to any of those five channels that, that the, the DNC, or the propaganda arm of the Democrat, Every damn day they talked about Russia, Russia, Russia. Turned out to be a whole, whole damn hoax. Whole damn thing was a hoax. It wasted. Well, lucky it didn't waste my time. I, I just tuned out on it. I said, you know, I ain't watching this shit no more. You know, if Russia, if Trump was part of Russia and they can't prove it, you know, within two years, I, that thing must be, there must be something wrong there. And then that guy Mueller, <laughs> he arrested a lot of people, but he never got Trump, did he? And it turned, the whole, turns out the whole damn thing was a hoax. Man, I tell you, this country's going to hell. It's just going to hell. And these Democrats, they don't make no damn sense. Tried to impeach Trump three times. Three times. Yeah, first time on Russia, 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 which is a hoax. And then the second time was that Ukrainian thing. You know, here you got Hunter Biden over there working for Burisma, making 100000 or 80000 or whatever it was a year, you know. And uh, and here, here, here they're going to tell Trump that he asked for a quid pro pro. Quid pro quo. That's how you pronounce it. Yeah. yeah and, that, and that whole thing was a hoax. And, so, and then, then, of course, they, they, you know, they, they got on Trump, said he incited people. He didn't incite no damn body. All he did was tell them to protest peacefully around the White House. And then the ones that did go in there, most of them were just walking in. A few people got violent. But, uh, you know, they're, they're all in jail now, which is another thing, man. They, you know, them people are still locked up. Most of them didn't do anything. And yet you got all them BLM lunatics that were burning down Portland and Seattle and Chicago and New York City. And it, none of them people are in jail. They're not, none of them are going to jail. He said, Democrats don't make no damn sense. They're up to something, man. They are up to something and we gotta find out. What is it, man? What is it? Well, stay tuned for the next video.